your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good evening, I'm Sarah Grinelli. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. The Biden administration's COVID-19 relief plan is one step closer to becoming a reality. The $1.9 trillion package passed the Senate along party lines on Saturday, but it has to go back to the House before it lands on President Joe Biden's desks. And Texas is set to reopen in just a few days with no restrictions and no mask mandates. For some, it's way too early. State and local leaders in Texas, along with health care workers, are condemning a mask off party planned at a local nightclub. The event scheduled on the first day of the governor's orders that goes into effect lifting public health measures. And demands for Governor Andrew Cuomo to resign intensifies after new allegations of sexual harassment and toxic work environment. The Washington Post published a report highlighting allegations that the New York governor's behavior created a toxic work environment. Female staffers told the paper they saw it as a part of the office culture. I'm first warning meteorologist Don Maher. Lots of sunshine out there today and the skies are going to remain clear again, but it is going to be a cold night tonight. Temperatures once again going to dip down into the lower teens, but mainly dry weather is going to prevail this week. We get temperatures back towards seasonable tomorrow and then a spring preview headed our way starting on a Tuesday. But tomorrow temperatures near 40 degrees. We should be in the lower 40s, so we're close to seasonable. But then here comes the warm up Tuesday, mid 50s, Wednesday, upper 50s to around 60 degrees. And you notice plenty of sunshine each afternoon as well. Looks like the best chance for us to maybe get into the lower 60s. That will come as we head on into Thursday. And by the whatever day we do hit 60 or better, that'll be the first time since Christmas Day of last year. Now, there may be the chance for a few showers around here as we head on into Friday. And behind that, looks like we're going to cool things back down as we head towards next weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.